In this video, we'll be looking at how to change our local account into a Microsoft account here on Windows 10. And for this, we'll be using a Microsoft Surface Pro 3, but the same is going to apply on any installation of Windows 10. So if you set up Windows 10 with a local account, meaning anytime you try to sign in to something like the store or you try to go to something like the store or Skype here or uh, maybe Groove Music or, or the uh, TV, I'm opening all these things here. So you got to sign in there. You can't sign in uh, automatically because we have a local account, right? Okay, so we're going to change this over to a Microsoft account. Now, there's a couple ways we can do this. We could come down here to settings and go to accounts right there. But a little bit easier way would be to hit your start button or click it if you're on a regular computer and just click your name right up here and go to change account settings. All right, this drops us into accounts and your email and accounts. So if you navigated the other way through settings, that's what you would do, email and accounts. So here's my local account. Now with a local account, I can't do things automatically like pop into your OneNote. Now, of course we can do those things by signing in uh, to each app, but if we have the computer signed in, it just makes it a little bit easier. Our email will sync, all of our files will sync on our Surface. And that's something you will want on a portable device. You may not necessarily want that on a computer, a uh, you know, stationary computer, but uh, you'll definitely want it on a portable device. So let's go ahead and change this to a Microsoft account instead. So simply click this little uh, highlighted text here, sign in with a Microsoft account instead. It's really easy. Okay, so now we'll go here and just type in our email address. So I'm on Windows 10 here, so I'll pop up this keyboard and then I'll click sign in. Now, if you don't have a Microsoft account, you can always create one right there. So I'll click sign in. Now I have two-step verification turned on, so I'll type in that code. All right, so I've typed in my authentication code. And now what you'll do is enter the password you originally set up for your local account. If you set one up, I didn't set one up, so I can leave this blank. Okay, but if you set one up for your local account, go ahead and type that in again here. Now go and click next. Then we'll just wait a couple of seconds. Everything's going to be transferred to sign into this computer. There we go, we can set up a pin, which uh, I'll do later on. We can just skip it for right now. Okay, there we go. Now everything's going to be set up with our Microsoft account. All this, all of this here will be updated in just a minute. So don't worry about that. Close that, pop this open. Now you can see it's been on my studios, which is another channel I have is what I have for my computer here. And most importantly, because we set this up with a local account first on Windows 10, let's pop this open real quick and come to this PC and go to C and to users. You can see I still have my Benoni documents folder, my Benoni user folder. If I would have set this up, Windows 10 up for the first time and immediately linked my Microsoft account, this folder would have been called Benon because for some reason it appends the first five characters of the email address of your Microsoft account and sets that as the user folder. So I would suggest whenever you're setting up Windows 10 for the first time, set it up with a local account and name that whatever you want, okay? And then you can always change that over to your Microsoft account. Pop into the store now, and I won't have to sign in because I'm already signed into my device. And see now it's updating my icons right there. The I, we'll see that here pretty soon. You can see it's still installing some things. So I'll restart this and then you'll see everything is in fact set up. Okay, so we've restarted our Windows 10 machine. In this case, it's a Surface. Now this icon will be updated. It can just take a little bit. So now we have to type in our password for our Microsoft account. And I would suggest you go ahead and set up a pin because it's much easier, much quicker to get in. And there we go. Okay. So our icon still isn't there, but just give it a minute, it will it will eventually show up. It's, it's got to do a bunch of updates and everything, but you're going to have to trust me on that. It will eventually show up. Now, if you ever happen to want to go back to a local account, we can do the same exact thing. Just come back here, change account settings. And then, as you can see here now, our Benoni Studio is the administrator. We can always come here and sign up with a local account instead. All right, so that's it for this video on how to switch your local account to a Microsoft account using Windows 10.